Now to a bizarre chain of events that started with a burglary at a convenience store, then somehow ended up with one of the suspects being hit and killed on I-10. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks explains what played out last night, including what one of the witnesses watched unfold. Police say two men burglarized this Circle K on 35th Avenue in Roosevelt just after 8.30 Wednesday night, then took off in a vehicle that was reported stolen from a nearby hotel a couple hours earlier. Officers located the vehicle near 39th Avenue in McDowell and tried to stop the driver, who ended up getting into two crashes before crashing into a sign structure and abandoning it near 51st Avenue in McDowell. They took off running. Police were able to arrest the driver, but the passenger ran out onto the I-10 westbound where he was struck by traffic and died. You know, I just hate to see this happen. This truck driver witnessed it. I heard the boom when I was standing outside my truck and I came over and that's when I seen the guys come to a stop on the interstate. All of this brings back horrific memories for LaQuinton McCown, who accidentally hit a child who had darted onto a four lane highway in Texas a few years ago. The child died. It brought back emotions, you know, and try, try not to relive that is something that you'll never get over. But he understands what the unsuspecting drivers along the I-10 are feeling. I just hope that they have a, some family, you know, they can get some support from and, and hopefully get some closure and hopefully it don't take a toll on them to where, you know, they can't they can't drive anymore. In Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. DPS is conducting the investigation and they are still trying to identify the suspect who died in all of this. Phoenix police detectives are still processing the second suspect for booking into the Maricopa County Jail. His name will be released once he is booked.